Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. I am your host, Dee Dee. This is my channel where I create artworks, speed paints, give you art tips and tutorials, and other fun, delicious art things. Now, today's video is just a tip Tuesdays because it's Tuesdays where I give tips and tricks about things that I know which in involves art things like clip studio paint, traditional mediums like watercolors, acrylics, color pencils, and other things that I'm very familiar with. Also, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Plus, I'm doing a giveaway for 200 subscribers once I hit it. And if you're someone who loves art and can't get enough of it, please click the link in the description box to my Patreon where you can easily get some in real life process videos. Um, well, real time process videos is the correct word. I corrected myself. I usually do that a lot. Anyways, real time videos of speed paints, uh, more demonstration videos, more tutorials. You can even get pin up pictures, uh, files of artworks that I haven't completed yet, and work in progress process videos of paintings and drawings and all that good stuff. Also, if you like not safe for work drawings, then you're in luck because I also do those just as well. And the link to that is in down in the description box, so hit the link. Alright, so today's video is about the 3D models in Clip Studio Paint, which I have discussed in my previous video on Thursday in my Tutorial Thursday videos. If you need to see that video or have not seen that video, I am going to leave a link and some caption around this video somewhere. And also, I'll put the link in the description box just in case. All right. So last time I gave you the little intro and basics to the 3D models. Today I'm showing you something that I figured out actually while doing the tutorial. And in fact, some of you may already know about this. I didn't know about it, and I'm assuming some people don't know about it either. At least, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb and I didn't know about this. But I'm doing a video anyways. Alright, so you have your 3D model. You have the pose you want. Or, if you're looking for another pose that you already have, say one that you already made, like I made this one right here. And you're like, crap, I don't want to take this pose out and just start all over with posing my videos. My videos? Videos? That is not the word I'm looking for. The correct word that I'm trying to say is pose and model so you don't want to either repose your model or get a different model or just drag and click it and you have a new model and you do not want that you just want to use this model that you already have because you have the great perspectives already set and you have the view where you want it I'm gonna give you a little secret all you have to do is just drag the pose to the model and they will be in that pose Ta-da! That is the tip for Just a Tip Tuesdays, people. It is that simple. All you have to do is go to any pose that you have, even the ones that are preset in Manga Studio, Clip slash Clip Paint Studio, whatever you want to call it. And all you got to do is just drag the pose, and your model will be in that pose. It is that simple. I mean, I didn't even know about this, so it's that simple, but it's difficult to figure out. So any pose, including the male poses, you can do as well. And even the, um, let's see, I'll drag this one in. And you get that pose. And you can even do a hand pose as well. The hands will go exactly to that pose. It's that simple. I mean, I mean, come on. I didn't even figure it out. I figured it out like last week. And I had this program for over three years. So <laughs> yeah. Anyways. That's it for Just a Tip Tuesdays, people. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. <laughs> like, I really enjoy filming videos. I just want to draw. Anyways, don't mind me. I hope you guys have a great day. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Leave down in the comments below what other tips you would like me to uh, record or even talk about. And... You can even leave a suggestion on things that I should draw in my next video. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And remember, art is everywhere. You create art. Anything is art and anything is possible. So, bye-bye.